Hey YouTubers, for this video I'm going to show you how to glam up an old garbage can. The first thing you're going to need obviously is an old garbage can, some wrapping paper, ribbon, scissors, and a bottle of glue. You want to start out first by opening up the wrapping paper onto a big surface to work on. Next, you want to take your garbage can and you want to roll it right along the top of the, d the wrapping paper. Make sure you cut it to an appropriate length. Make sure you get it right along the top and if there's any excess over the side, you want to make sure that you make a little ridge by pushing it against the garbage can and you can go over it later with a pencil and cut it out. With the ridge that you made, go over it with the pencil so you have a clear idea as to where you have to cut with the scissors. Next, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut along the pencil markings that you made. In the process of doing so, you can pick up your garbage can and realign it with this new edge that you're making making sure that it aligns with the edge of the garbage can. Take the garbage can and start rolling it up in the wrapping paper, ensuring that the top of the wrapping paper is aligned with the top of the garbage can. Cut the excess wrapping paper off the bottom, that way there's not too much bulk when you have to tuck it in underneath later. Use the tape to stick the wrapping paper right to the trash bin, and make sure you use enough tape that the wrapping paper does not move. Roll the garbage bin back up in the wrapping paper, making sure that the wrapping paper is adhered to it really tightly. Next, you want to cut off any excess wrapping paper. Secure the free end with some white glue. Next, you want to make vertical cuts on the wrapping paper along the bottom of the garbage can. You then want to cut some more excess wrapping paper off, ensuring that you have enough still there to fold over onto the bottom. Next, fold down these edges tightly and secure them with tape. Take the ribbon and line it along the top of the garbage can. Then, you want to take some glue and glue that ribbon right along the edge, ensuring that you're covering the entire circumference of the garbage can. Once you reach the end, you're going to snip off the excess ribbon and then glue it down with some more glue. Now you want to make the bow. Just cut a long piece of ribbon and start tying it into a bow from the center. Cut any excess ribbon and then, in the hanging ends, create V-shaped notches. Once you've perfected the bow and made sure that it's tight, you're going to take some glue, put it onto the back, and stick it onto the garbage can. You're going to hold it in place until the glue becomes dry enough to hold the bow by itself. Now take one long piece of ribbon, and along the bottom of the garbage can, you're going to do the exact same thing with the ribbon as you did on the top. Ensure that you cut away any excess that you have and glue the free end down. And there you have it guys, you now have a new glammed up garbage can.